here we are on the east side of Four Corners, the, uh, the Colorado side, and behind it you get all of this beautiful scenery. We've actually been, we've seen all of this uh, on the way here. Um, I've been really, really wanting to pull over to the side of the road and check it out, but there are no places to really stop. Um, so yeah, it's raining a little bit, but I see some people up there and I'd really like to go up there and check it out. So something that's kind of cool is the ground texture. Couldn't tell if it was sand or dirt or mud or what, but it's uh, it's really hard dirt. It's uh, almost kinda squishy. Actually. It's kind of squishy. Um, like you can't just like I know it's it's really uh, it's pretty tough. Right over there, you see four corners, and we're on a rock formation here. Uh, we've actually climbed up from down there. You kind of see it's, we're actually up fairly high, you can't really tell from the video. The ground's kind of a, it's like sandy dirt. Up here, a piece of rock. You can see the road down there we drove in on. Here we are on top. Wow. This is crazy. Right now we are in Utah, a place called Gooseneck, and something cool about this place is it's where we will be camping tonight. It's actually a free campsite, so a lot of people, yeah, this is not very crowded ever though, so that's pretty cool. Here is the Gooseneck. It I saw this online and it looked big, but not this big. This is insane. Like, unbelievable. It's so hard to even look at. It's, it's just nuts. So, this is Gooseneck. And here's our tent. How you doing, Sarah? Okay. How you doing? Say hi.
So we're about to turn on the Monument Valley Road. Pulled over to take some pictures and video. Arizona at Monument Valley and we're gonna do the Wildcat Trail. It's a three and a half four mile trail. It goes right around one of the major formations called the Mitten, Two Mittens. Something I've been wanting to see for a very long time. I actually didn't know there's a trail so this will be pretty cool. We just started the Wildcat Trail, Sarah and I, and it's uh, very sandy as you can see. We're going to walk around some of these cool monuments. One more last video of this trail that we're on. It's Monument Valley. There's the mitten. There's the other mitten behind us. And there is it's the middle of nowhere. Parking is over there, so we've walked from over there. And uh, we're on the back side of the mitten in there. So pretty cool stuff. Walking up to Mathers Point Overlook. Excited? Yeah. Oh man. Oh man, look at this. Oh, wow. Huge. Holy crap. A storm is brewing. We're still here at Mathers Point. We actually got into a lot of hail on the way here. They want a bird. I wonder if I got that. There's also a weird squirrel looking thing, like right on the edge of the canyon, walking over here. Yep. Here's where we just were it. Grand Canyon is taking the Bright Angel Trail. So we're on our way down. 
There aren't any ledges, or any railing for the ledges. Look how steep that is. And it's a long way down. We're actually starting this a little late, so we're not going to make it too far down. Yeah, it's a pretty steep trail. Crazy steep trail. Oh my god, it looks just like I had a rip on here. It's yeah, for it does. a second. Kind of weird. Excuse me. Everybody's huffing and puffing, aren't they? Yeah, and it looks tough. I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, I know. Nervous about going back up. Here we are at the Hoover Dam. Sarah's still emptying her shoes of the sand that we got from Monument Valley. So we're parked at the very top of the garage, minus that little section over there. So we're on the uh, west side of the dam. There it is, right down there. Now I thought that vehicles weren't allowed to travel over the dam anymore, and they built this. But I see vehicles driving across it now, so maybe that's something you can do. We are on the back side of the Hoover Dam. The north side. The water is so crisp and clear. Yeah, it is. Saw a few boats pass back there. Sarah and I are on the Las Vegas Strip. There is Excalibur, and here is Lexer. I'm pronouncing that right. See the Sphinx and the Pyramid. You're in a castle. I spent one dollar here at the Lexer, or I'm sorry, at the Excalibur. Uh, didn't really know what I was doing, I got but I didn't want anything. Sarah got a shot glass. For my boss. For her boss, Cracker Barrel. Very pretty. Something kind of funny is all of the grass first arrived here, I was like, okay, that's pretty cool, because there's no grass anywhere around here, anywhere else, so they're really keeping up on their mowing and watering and stuff, and now it's all, it's all fake. There's the tram. Yeah, southern half of the Las Vegas Strip. Continuing down the Las Vegas Strip after being lost in Luxor for about two hours. Having a good meal though.
Walk in the strip. It's so about 8.30 right now. San Francisco and oh my goodness, driving sucks. So this finding parking space. But we're at Pier 39 and we should be able to see the Golden Gate Bridge from here. We just went across this bridge by accident. It's four dollars to go across, but hey, it was kinda cool. Some generous people just gave us their parking space after I was I already paid a few bucks for another space, but this one had a little bit more time on it. So uh, plus I didn't really understand how it worked. So that's our experience so far after just getting to the heart of Cali. I'm Pier 39 and there's Alcatraz Island. In a second we'll see the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, check that out. You see that? There's the Golden Gate, man. Do we have a stop sign here? I don't know, yeah. I guess. Whoa, is this the steepest hill? Maybe. That was, that totally was. These, there was railroad tracks all the way down it, because that's... Turn left onto Larkin Street. Then turn left onto Lombard Street. Lombard Street. Oh my god, babe, you're good. <laughs> This is awesome. You really take pictures of this. Do your best, babe. Just text some photos. Don't worry about it. Maybe HDR will take care of it. No, I don't want video. Uh, photos, I mean. Snap some photos. Maybe HDR will take care of it. Just snap whatever you want to leave them later. Biking might be fun down at home. I wonder if people, people actually live on this. See, it could have sworn it was. That was a good one. Maybe it was for a little while. There you go, babe. You just have to wait till you get around the corners. This is cool, isn't it? Famous street, babe. I think this is the only one that turns in the I mean, I don't want to take multiple of the same, so I'm good with that right. one. <laughs> the signs are scuffed up. Pretty scenery. This would be nuts to live on, though. I would not want to live on this street. Oh, I'm kidding. Well, I don't know. Walking wouldn't be too bad, I guess. Well, I guess all of San Francisco is pretty tilted, so it wouldn't be too bad. So there's Lombard Street. I'm getting off my phone now. over the Golden Gate Bridge. San Francisco, California. Actually on our way back we went across uh, from the South End. Took some photos and now we're headed back. Next stop is the Mythbusters building before we go to San Diego. I'm sorry, Los Angeles.
just shout out, like, uh, as we go under, like, look up, and give it, maybe give it an idea of depth and how tall it is. It's huge. I wonder how many times I have to pay to see this. You can get a view of the water, but you can't. Uh, that's too bad. It's really pretty. We can see it. Make it high. It's not through the camera. Interesting fact, the speed limit on the Golden Gate Bridge is 45 miles per hour. So cool. We just had a light to show that it's interesting. Like the front end's gonna come up off the ground. Is there a stoplight here? The things are so slanted. I know. I wouldn't get used to living on a hill like this. Like on a slant. Turn left onto Union Street. Well, this could be bad. Okay, well, there's one car. Oh, man. I thought you had to turn man. there. Ugh, this is so confusing. Yeah, You turn up this one? Turn left onto Hyde Street, then turn right onto Filbert Street. Is this Filbert? Yes. Alright, All right. here's the other side. Oh shit. In you can tell it's going to be steep. Arrive yeah. at your yeah. destination. Oh. Make sure to take a good video of this, babe. Holy crap. Babe, we're going to die. I'm scared. Oh my god. Arrive Please don't. Video, 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 video. San Francisco. No, I'm don't go down it. Tail. Oh my don't god. Don't go down it. I'm scared. Chat, we're going to die. Holy Jesus. Can we pull the e-brake or something? Oh my god. I don't feel safe. I know, babe. Look at her leaning forward in the seat. Oh my god. This is not what I expected. Holy crap. And there's still more. See that girl smiling at us? Look at the vehicles parked. Who was smiling at us? That girl that just passed by. Oh, because we're Here freaking out? Yeah. We're ending our little trek in San Francisco over in Oakland to see something that I personally wanted to see other than the Mythbusters building. Uh, so here we are at the Pixar Animation Studios. It's awesome. Pixar. I guess we can't. I wish we could. Hollywood sign just uh, up the hill from a dog park that we're planning on going to. Crazy windy road getting here. We are at the Lake Hollywood dog park. Very nice green grass, mountains in the background. Very pretty view. I'm gonna top it all off. We 
here in Hollywood, California on Hollywood Boulevard and the Walk of Fame. Hey, Sarah. Hi. Got shirt. California Science Center. And here they have up front a big lever with a Toyota Tundra on the other end. Pull down and the lever allows you to pick up the truck. Here's the Endeavour Space Shuttle. On Santa Monica Pier. We are approaching the Mexican border. It's actually over here to our left. We just passed a border patrol sitting at a stop sign back there. Um, we're going to the far southwest corner of the United States. It's far away from Indiana, I believe, that we can get within the continent of the United States. So this is going to be pretty cool. Here we are. There's Mexico, and there's the fence. And border patrols right over there. You can see vehicles. Crazy. I might be meeting with these guys here shortly. Here we are at the US Mexico border. Right by the ocean. Very southwest corner of the US, right here. And me about busting my butt.
So I talked to the guys who just got attacked to by the border patrol, them over there. And I guess we have, that's the US fence, the old one. And they built, I guess they built this new fence, so a double layer. You're not allowed to cross that one there. They'll wave back. <laughs> They're waving it, that's awesome. Um, there was a YouTube video where there were some people playing volleyball over the fence. This is where that took place, but as you can see, it's not allowed anymore. You know, I think you can go over there and talk to them. Me too. That'd be so cool. <laughs> Me amo Sarah. <laughs> this is awesome. Cool. I don't know what else to say in Spanish. This is La Jolla Cove. It's supposed to be the clearest water in San Diego, maybe California. I'm not positive on that one. Definitely San Diego. Very pretty. See, it's pretty clear. <laughs> and today we're on Coronado Beach. Might be our last day in California. Sarah is there sunbathing. Like old sparkles in the sand. So last stop, we're headed home, last stop in California, kind of pretty mountainside, grand opening subway, probably our last stop, we expect it to be. We're about an hour and a half maybe away from the border, so. Oh yeah, and my phone is uh, pulling off of apparently Mexico towers because it's telling me that data roaming's turned off and I'm on a network called Movie Star, which is odd. So, yep, in the subway we go. We're on our way back from Cali. We're in Arizona at a Love's gas station. I picked up some Powerade. We're gonna be stopping an hour and a half at another gas station with a shower, spend the night. We're gonna go to this uh, state forest. But anyways, so I was here, open up the door, and my goodness, apparently it's the hottest part of the month, according to the gas station clerk. And it is 105 degrees here, the hottest weather we've experienced since we've been on vacation. So, the heat hit me, and my goodness. He's got to Saguaro National Park in southern Arizona. It's crazy hot. It's like 98 degrees right now. You can feel it too, given the breeze is hot. 
the way here, you can see that there's pretty much cactus everywhere surrounding us. I'm gonna go on a small walk, probably. It's too hot to really go on a hike. We're out here on the Signal Hill Trail out in Arizona. Uh, it was 96, 98 degrees last we checked. Well, uh, before we drove here to the trailhead. Literally every five minutes or so, the temperature jumped a degree. It's 106 when we left the car. Uh, this trail's half mile long. I don't know if that's there or there and back. But we probably won't go much further. At the end of the trail, there are some uh, rock paintings from, it's said, 800 years ago, which would be pretty cool to see, but I don't know if we make it that far or not, because it's a scorcher. It's pretty cool seeing cactus. We saw a few dead ones, and I guess they have like a wooden frame to them on the inside, and then some spongy material that holds water, then a waxy outer and then the spikes. Here in New Mexico, we're still headed home, and we stopped at the White Sands National Monument. Three dollars first to get in. Last thing we're gonna be seeing for today, probably. It's starting to get kind of dark. We're gonna pull over and take some pictures as soon as we find a good spot to stop. Very pretty white sands. Walk in the sand dunes, check it out. We're now in Texas, and we're at Cadillac Ranch, possibly our last stop on the crazy long trip that we've been on. Here we are, Cadillac Ranch, getting closer to the vehicle grounds. I guess it was actually closer to the city. It was moved from the city. It was expanded. I would tell you what city it is, but I forget the name of it. Uh, There's a sign entering that specifically said no spray painting on the side of the fence, and there are spray cans everywhere, and there are people spray painting now as we speak. It smells like spray paint. And here are the vehicles that we came to see. pretty close to home, but we decided to go ahead and stop by the St. Louis Arch. It's something Sarah's never seen before, so we're going to go over there, maybe go inside. 
and here we are right up on the arch. Well, I think I can see it. It's pretty tall. You can actually go inside and take an elevator up to the top if you've ever been here before. Kind of rear elevator it goes up a couple notches, goes to the left a couple notches, up, left, left, up, left, like a staircase. It's massive. It's pretty cool. Back home, and after 5,496.8 miles from our road to Cali and back, here is 5,500 miles of grime and dirt. Not quite as clean as it was in the beginning. I did, however, discover on the way back, about an hour and a half, two hours ago, that I had a rear windshield wiper and I had a spray nozzle on that, so I cleaned my back window. So yeah, back home. Not sure happy or sad. What's your favorite part of the trip, Sarah? Uh, probably Las Vegas, Monument Valley, or Grand Canyon. Those are my top three. Top three. Top three. Cali wasn't quite as exciting as what I thought it would have been. It's very crowded and it's a little too much for me. But I'd say Monument Valley is probably my favorite, and Las Vegas is pretty cool too. But everything that we visited, was a lot different than what I was expecting. So it was a fun trip. What are we gonna do next summer? <laughs>